It came from the internet. All right, Brandy, what's the story? What's going on? Well, we're going to go to Richmond, Virginia, where a bomb squad had to respond to a resident's call for help in Richmond after that person found a grenade while doing yard work. A grenade? Grenade. Dude, the homeowner's name is... He discovered the grenade about 2.30 in the afternoon while axing ivy near the bottom of a tree. He actually said that he thinks he hit the grenade a couple of times with his axe. Whoa! He says he was on one of the trees and was hitting towards the base, and he knew he hit something really hard. He pulled it out, and then he couldn't believe what he was seeing. He says it looked like a grenade. And he goes, I know I'm not supposed to, to touch a bomb, but he didn't know that it was a bomb or a grenade until he had it in his hand. He saw the pin was on it, and he did the best thing he could do was get as far away from it as he possibly could. So he just didn't think about it. He was in shock. He ran. Called the cops. They responded to the home. When law enforcement arrives, they determined the grenade was most likely live and had, uh, had to defuse it. Police were on the scene for over five hours and had to block off the street from oncoming traffic. The bomb squad was able to renew, remove the grenade from the yard using a robot. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Um, they say the grenade could have been there, left in the ground for decades. Holy smokes. Uh, modern grenades look the same as the ones from like back in the day. They haven't changed aesthetically. I, I don't know. The only ones I see are on the cover of Green Day albums. <laughs> That's true. I would look at it like it was like a prop from a World War II movie. I'm such an idiot. My first thought would not be, oh, wow, that's an incredibly dangerous weapon. I should make sure the authorities are aware that this is jeopardizing the safety of myself and everyone around me. I'd be like, that thing's cool. I'm going to put that on my desk. Be having a conversation with people, tossing it up in the air, like catching it like a baseball. You know, I'd be playing hacky sack with it, using it to break things open. Like, oh, this thing's not, why won't this, oh, man, I can't get this open. Let me, let me, where's my grenade? Basically, everyone within a three-building radius of me should hope I never inadvertently find any type of cool-looking explosive. You know, because I'm basically a big nine-year-old.